From energy efficient building standards to the use of alternative fuels, Ohio State has become a leader in sustainability. Aperna Dial is part of a campus wide effort to add some green to the scarlet and gray. On any given day, we have over 100,000 people on campus. We have so many different types of operations, from running a hospital to athletic facilities. World-class research facilities and laboratories that we need to keep the lights on 24-7. And that takes energy. We have a $58 million energy budget each year. If you think about it in terms of 10 or 15 years, that's over a billion dollars. So just the scale and scope is amazing. Just because you have a large facility doesn't mean that it needs to be energy inefficient. And that's how OSU is changing the picture. Our whole sustainability program for campus is under the title of Scarlet Gray and Green. We're focusing on how much CO2 our school is contributing to pollution. There are a lot of opportunities to conserve energy here and we use a three-pronged approach to that. First step is metering our buildings. The second step is to do building energy audits. We go into a building into the mechanical areas, right? These are areas nobody goes into, sort of the, the belly of the building and we look at steam pipes. If it's uninsulated, there's a lot of heat loss to the piping, so replace that. We have steam traps through which steam is blown through, so we replace that. Any kind of lighting that's inefficient, then we retrofit it with T8s, which is more efficient. The third step would be to implement the projects, and we have implemented 35 projects, and the net present value of just these projects is about $3.8 million over the last two years. The buses that we run are diesel powered. And instead of just using regular diesel fuel, Ohio State is committed to using B20, biodiesel fuel. Another program that we also have for transportation is the Zipcar program. It's sort of a partnership in sharing in cars. Zipcar allows students and faculty to have a car available for them when they need it. We use two gallon per minute shower heads at the RPAC. By reducing those to 1.5 gallons per minute, we're saving over $200,000 a year in cost of water. Our Scarlet Grain Green program extends beyond campus, even into our community, and what better way to unite everybody and teach everybody than Buckeye football. With a lot of help from the Department of Athletics, we started a recycling program in the tailgate lots and in our stadium. And last year we recycled 81 tons from the stadium and 38 tons from our tailgate lots alone, and that's a huge environmental impact. Every new building has to have 5% of their budget solely dedicated to energy. The 4-H building is a terrific example of a green building. They have a geothermal heating and cooling system, and we are tracking the consumption of this building closely because it gives you real-life data, and we think it will consume 30 to 40% of what a normal building would. Students, faculty, and staff want us to be a sustainable campus. President Guy wants us to be one of the greenest universities in our country, if not around the world. As Ram Das said, the basic social institution is the human heart. It's the source from which social action derives its power and purpose. We are the Ohio State University, and if it doesn't work here, it's not going to work anywhere. That's our show for today. From the Ohio State University, I'm Chris Forbes. Thanks for watching.